just be out with us traveling the world. The most common questions we get is how to stay connected while abroad. A lot of U.S. Uh, cell services offer you um, travel package where you have to pay five dollars per day in order to stay connected while traveling internationally but we do have a jbo pro tip for you how to stay connected while abroad and don't break the bank just be out with us now we do not even have a phone contract at all even when we go back to the us we use electronic sim cards what electronic sim cards is basically a sim card that does not require a chip all you need to do is download it into your phone and we use allo air app to do so it allows you to download e-sims from over 190 countries we use it when we went to canada portugal and now we're heading to our two back-to-back -back southern caribbean island cruises and we will be using a sim card that actually combines many different islands so for example if you're going to the caribbean you can buy a sim card for just one country or you can buy a sim card that is a kind of a package of different countries that you can use the same applies to europe if you go to europe you can just buy it for one country or for several countries if you go country hopping on your vacation it is very affordable you can buy it by gigabytes depending on the country one three five or even 10 gigabytes and the price varies but it is very affordable if you buy a country package it is a little bit more expensive but it is worth it now let's clear up the confusion when it comes to e-sims i know apple's always improving their devices so iphone 14 has no longer a physical tray to put your sim card in and they only use an electronic sim but it either from verizon t-mobile or or AT&T or any cellular company that is based from the US or if you are maybe in UK you have your own cellular companies this eSIM is app based so you have to download an app to your phone allo air and we will leave both our referral links in the description below so you will get three dollars off when you purchase your first eSIM this eSIM does not apply to phone calls well you can make phone calls over the internet this eSIM gives you data when you travel basically that's all you really need you can still make your phone calls to your friends and family via a web-based um, communication apps like WhatsApp, Viber, Telegram, etc. Or you can even uh, use iMessages uh, because it's data based messaging. But if you need to make a call on a physical phone number, you will not be able to. I know you might say T Mobile offers a great worldwide international co coverage and it's included in your plan. We have used T Mobile before and we had to cancel it because when you are in the US, you get four. 4G, 5G coverage, but when you are abroad, you only get 2G coverage. And it's only good to send in WhatsApp messages, but it does not even load Google Maps, so it is terrible. That's why we switched to Allo Air. Stay with me till the end of the video because I will share our personal pros and cons of using eSIMs. But now I will show you how to purchase eSIM, download it to your phone, and install it. First, download Allo Air app by using our referral links. Here you can see all the countries that you can find the electronic SIM cards for. There are over 190 countries. You can also search by regional electronic SIM cards or global eSIMs by purchasing an eSIM for the Caribbean islands. I will go with a one gigabyte plan for seven days for 15 US dollars. You can also see the supported countries. In this example, this specific regional Caribbean SIM card will include coverage in these countries. If you purchase an eSIM for just one country, you will have data coverage for that one country that you purchase. Simply click the buy button and choose your payment method. If you do not see your $3 credit for your first SIM card, just enter our promo codes in this area. 
and click Apply. Click two checkboxes and proceed with your payment. Once your payment successfully goes through, you will see the payment confirmation message on your screen. And you will also receive a purchase confirmation email. In that email, you will also find activation instructions. To activate your electronic SIM card, simply click on My eSIMs tab. And over here, you will see all the eSIMs that I previously purchased. To install, click Details and install my eSIM data access. Keep in mind, be sure you have a stable internet connection. Here you will also find some instructions on how to install your electronic SIM card. In this video, I will be taking you through them. Click Install my eSIM. This guideline will also help you install your eSIM. Click Next and click Install eSIM. Keep in mind, once you activate your eSIM, your data will start immediately. If you are not ready to use your eSIM just as yet, simply click Cancel. And once you arrive to your destination, you can activate your eSIM then. Since we are already in Puerto Rico, I'm activating my eSIM right away. Click Continue to finish activating your eSIM. Once you have successfully installed your eSIM, you will see this green message. Allo Air will again show you how to turn on your eSIM, so just follow the instructions. Head over to your phone settings and click Cellular. So select the next cellular plan and you can title it as Travel. Your primary plan is your cell phone number that you normally use it with your regular cell phone provider. Make sure to turn on this line. Next, go to cellular data and select the travel plan. This way your cell phone will automatically use the new plan. Cl next, click on your new travel eSIM plan and adjust the settings. Turn off the automatic network selection and manually choose the network selection that is supported for your eSIM. Keep in mind, selecting network might take a few minutes, so do not worry when you see the spinning wheel for a while. Your cellular data network settings will be entered automatically, so do not worry about that. Be sure to turn on data roaming. And this is it, you are all set. Those were the instructions from Allo Air, and just to show you how easily I set the instructions on my phone with the eSIM that I just purchased. I do not have a primary plan, so my eSIM that I just purchased goes under the primary label. I turn on my cellular data. As you can see, I do not have any cell service, only the Wi-Fi. I can easily switch my cellular plan label to travel, but it is not necessary. Next, I need to manually select the network. Because I purchased the regional SIM card, I need to look up the exact network that is available for Puerto Rico. So I simply go to my eSIM and check for available networks. If you purchase an eSIM for just one country, you will only have one network. As you can see on the right hand side, there are different networks available for each country. For Puerto Rico, the network name is Claro. Back to my settings and manual network selection, I select Claro. Turn on the data roaming. As you can see, my travel plan for eSIM is turned on. Just to cross check the cellular data network settings, click on cellular data network. And as you can see, Allo Era 1 settings is already entered. To cross-check, head back to your eSIM settings and as you see over here, APN says Allo Air 1, that means the settings are entered correctly. And as you can see, I already have connection. After you have installed and activated your eSIM, a good practice is to turn off your phone completely and turn it back on to ensure that your data kicks in. Keep in mind, you can only install your eSIM once. If you, for some reason, switch your phones, maybe you lose your phone and you will have another phone, that eSIM will not be active any longer. 
your eSIM will only be active in the country that you purchase the eSIM for. So for example, if you're in the United States and you're traveling to the Caribbean, even if you install your SIM the day of your flight or at the airport, you can only use it and see that the eSIM is working when you actually land in that country. You must have Wi-Fi to purchase and install your eSIM. You can actually purchase and install it at your home and then activate it once you get to your destination. And now for the pros and the cons of eSIMs. We've been using it for a while so the pros is it is very affordable. A lot of times it's actually cheaper than purchasing an eSIM at the country that you're traveling in and it is much faster to get your eSIM and get data on your phone than go to customer service, purchase the SIM of the country where you're traveling and install and activate the sim when we were traveling to belize we actually bought an actual sim and that took us over an hour <laughs> to be in the store uh, make sure the representative will help us install the sim and etc with this eSIM, you can actually easily install it on your phone yourself and it only takes minutes. Allo Ear does have a great customer service. You can just message them. Sometimes it does take a few hours for them to get back to you. Another pro is that you can get $3 off with our referral code or referral links. We will leave our promo codes and referral links in the description below. Another pro is that you can easily top up your SIM, meaning that if you run out of data, you can actually click top up and add more gigabytes, either one, two, three, five, or 10 more gigabytes. And lastly, you do have a dashboard where you can actually see how much data you have left. And they do send you email reminders when you have 25% remaining, 10% of data remaining. And and also if your sim is about to expire soon and now for the cons Allo Ear have improved a lot since we've been using it and now it's actually way easier to use and reactivate it and install it versus even last year for example it is so much easier to use now but sometimes it does not work right away so you need to reboot your phone turn on and off airplane mode and check the settings make sure the network is matching your eSIM provided network uh, all the settings are correct the roman is on and um, it's just a little bit of fiddling but at the end of the day it will still work the next con is that your data does not roll over so if you purchase a sim for example one gigabyte for only seven days but you still have data left over it will not roll over it will just expire the same thing with a month sim so if you purchase five or ten gigabytes and you do not use them up within a month your data will expire the next con is a little inconvenience sometimes your apps eat up data and the data runs out faster than you would expect it sometimes you think oh i barely use my data but it's almost gone again it's because a lot of apps use data to run any updates or uh, uh, get push notifications on the background and it does use your data so what we do is we go to the settings and turn off data app refreshment when you use data and only allow to send push notifications and updates when we are on Wi-Fi. And lastly, you do need Wi-Fi to actually install your SIM or top up or activate. Sometimes when we are at the airport, we do it right there for the new country. We buy new SIM, we install it and activate it right at the airport or we just look for a cafe. But the trick that we actually figured out is we do install data plans uh, with a little bit window on my phone and Devon's phone. This way, when data runs out on one phone, we use hotspot from another phone. This way we can actually purchase a new SIM and or top up or reactivate it. 
if you found this video useful or you learned a lot about a new service allo ear please give us a thumbs up we would really appreciate it or share this video with your friends and family who are planning to travel abroad please don't forget to use our promo codes and links in the description below to get three dollars off your first eSIM don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss when we publish our next video. Thank you so much for watching and as usual, just be out with us.